hi guys welcome back so today i have a oil marble tutorial for you today um i'm showing you that i have black dye on my nails i was making something it rubbed up all of i will have nails on soon but unfortunately you will not see that for weeks um but this is the foil that inspired this look today and i've had this idea for a few weeks now so i'm going to apply some base coat to these nails one thin layer just so I have so the builder has something to stick to and I want to make sure I say this again I am NOT a licensed nail tech I've just been doing my own nails for the last few years and I love the hobby and I became really obsessed with it last year right when the pandemic hit so these are the Rosaline gels that were in my last haul I was so excited to play with them and I think I, I like them um I kept trying to use them as gel polishes though so I kept wiping off a little bit and I should have just pulled it out the straight out and tapped it a little bit and then applied it to the nail but I kept trying to use it as gel polish so I just did that thin layer to have an even surface and I'm gonna take this blue and I'm gonna apply it to the whole nail and I'm trying to work as thin as possible so that layer that you saw before, it was just to even out the nail so it wouldn't be a ridge from the tip. I really don't have a plan. I'm just kind of winking it at this point. So I decided to make this one an ombre nail. So I'm only going to do halfway up. I don't know why I'm painting the nail like this, but it's something I do. I've noticed I do that a lot. And I'm gonna cure that. I'm gonna take some alcohol and I'm gonna wipe it on the nails. Please wipe off the tacky layer if you wanna use foil gel. It adheres so much better. I thought for the longest time that it was me. It was me just not wiping off the tacky layer. But this is some amazing foil glue. I love the McCart foil glue it's the best I've tried so far <laughs> and it's minimum effort so I love it I recommend it go buy you some if you need some it is very pricey I will admit that but it, when I think of all the money I spent on other foil glues and it's just worth it just to get the one product that works and I know it works so yeah it's personal preference so I cured that foil glue for a, a minute and I'm going to take this netting I got a few months ago and I'm going to place it on the pinky. Um, my camera cut off so you didn't see that but I'm going to take the foil that inspired it, put do a full coverage nail on the ring finger and I'm just smoothing it with the silicone tool. Oh, I forgot to say let your foil glue cool off for at least 30 seconds before applying your foil. But um, I like to use my fingers for body heat. I feel like foil works much better when you use body heat. It comes off way easier. So I just need to use the silicone to get out the bubbles or the ridges. And then I'm apply this to the pointer finger. I like doing the same process, smoothing it with the silicone tool. And then using my finger body heat. Smooth that out and then white. <laughs> then I have this nail strengthener from Beatles. It came with the Christmas kit. It had like blue, it was blues and glitter. And so, and it came with a strengthener and some stickers. I really never learned what it, the strengthener was for, but I I know it's to cover up your stickers. So basically it should be a top coat, but I don't know if it's a top coat. I use it to seal in things. I like it, it works. So the point pinky I didn't show you but I did apply that strengthener and then I took that piece of saran wrap and I held it that foil down with it and um, I put it under the light so now I'm gonna take the pink builder I decided to make this entire nail a pink builder nude <laughs> nail <laughs> I don't know who say that like that but yeah that's gonna be my neutral nail I guess you want to call it and I took a slip layer and then I'm going to 
cool pool keep in contact with the gel and pool I don't ignore the hand movement it was to tell you to cure but I didn't cure that I um, kept going and I got another bead and I just pulled down and I'll be honest I do cure in layers I like to make sure I have an apex, so I cure in layers, and with long nails, they can be kind of overwhelming for me, so yeah, I, I cure as many times as I need to, and I look for the shape that I'm looking for. I don't stop until I get that shape, so that's why you see me creating a second layer, because I want to make sure this nail is strong, even though <laughs> this is not a real person. I need to know these techniques for myself, so yeah, I am working in layers. And I do that with all the nails just to make sure that it's enough strength on each one. And this is the ombre nail. This is my first ombre. And I was pretty proud of it like after I applied this. But I am also an over filer. So once I got done, it looked, it looked like I didn't. there was no ombre. I was very disappointed in it, but next time I know to build it up a little bit more because it wasn't built up at the tip enough and that's why I filed it down so I'm learning I'm working on myself it's a journey but it looked good when I <laughs> encapsulated it and I, I was so mad that I did that but like I said and it's something I could fix easily which is sometimes mess ups are good because you learn how to fix them if you were in a real life situation as a nail tech. Because I'm always thinking, should I get that license? So, yeah, learning is good. And so, um, I'm taking the clear and I'm dragging and pulling the clear down. And then I cured that. Nope, <laughs> I did cure it, but um, I had the, um, it was cut out, I'm sorry, so yeah, I did cure that, and then I'm going to make another layer, I told you I'm doing them, I mean, I'm doing them in layers, so I cured that, and then I'm going to go to the pinky finger, slip layer, and the slip layer is so important, it makes pulling and dragging so much easier, I love that technique. Cause it's it's like butter when you do it so yeah when you're working with builder gel always do your slip layer because it tells the gel where to go and i cure it that like i said i'm cutting the clips out this video was almost an hour and i was trying to cut clips where i could i didn't want you to watch our video but that was cured and then i did a second layer and i'm going to cure this I know there's a video out before this of a tutorial, but this is my very first one. And so hopefully I, well, I think I did edit that one better than I edit this one. Like I said, I'm learning and I know my lighting is so much better and the sound I feel like is better. And I'm doing the same thing on this lip layer, dragging, pulling. So guys, thank you for joining me today. This is not the end of the video, but if you have any suggestions comments feedback anything you would like to say please leave them down in the comments down below i am open to all criticisms <laughs> feedback is welcome i really want my channel to grow and to do great so whatever you feel like is a help please leave it down below and thank you guys for watching my videos this this has been a good learning experience I've learned so much about editing. So I'm gonna file this with the hand with the drill. I could not do it with the hand file, but I showed you the file that I use because I love those files. You need a stiff file when you're working with any enhancement. And that one from Sally's does not bend. That's why it's my favorite. I would not function without it. So I'm just pulling in one direction down and giving that lump that I see. I'm trying to get it as smooth as possible. And I'm, to be honest, I did not file on this hand. 
I take those nails out. I think I try to do it on this video, but I take the nails out. It's so much easier. It's not... <laughs> the hands are beautiful, but they're not something you can file on. And I did not know that purchasing the hand. Um, I learned it a few weeks later. I think I... may go back and purchase the other hand because that is the one for practice the plastic ones with the nails that pop in I I didn't want them because I know I wasn't gonna do good enough research and those nails do pop out so easily and I'm sorry that I'm rambling <laughs> I'm sorry so I told you I have over filed that pointer finger so I'm gonna take some gold and I'm just gonna cover that up as best as I can I'm gonna be honest. I did not like the outcome of this one. I felt like the holographic threw it off. Um, I wished I used like just the plain gold instead of holographic. But um, yeah, I lived, I learned. Next time, I thought I honestly I thought I didn't have any plain gold, but it turns out I have a bunch of it, and it was just me not looking close enough. But, um, tell me what you think down below. Do you like the holographic gold? Do you think it flows together? I just think just gold with no holographic even will flow so much better. And I was so confused. I did something before this and I wiped it off. <laughs> it was with some gold um, foil. But, um, yeah. I'm just placing the gold not really in a pattern. Just trying to make it look presentable so you can't see that I messed up the nail by over filing it and then I nicked that corner right there so I had to add a little bit more blue you can't even tell I nicked it <laughs> that's why you always put a color under your foils because if you mess up you can just put that color up top and it it blends right on in so I'm taking this foil and I'm just gonna place it on the nail and I got my foil from Joann's this was before Shein had that three pack and Shein is definitely cheaper than buying your foil from Joann's. I will be honest about that. But yeah, you can use coupons at Joann's if you just have to have it now. And you get a ton. I've had mine for over two years and it's still full to the top. It don't even look like I, I use it. So um, that's my design over there. What I want to put on the, yes it is too long. I don't use all those pieces. I was just trying to um, try something out. And it's so beautiful on that paper. I love that design. Um, I, to improve this one though, I really, really wish I used just a little bit smaller blues to go in between the um, rhinestone circles that you will see. I think that would have made it pop so much more. Or maybe using big, well I'm going to use caviar beads in the end. Maybe using bigger caviar beads would have made that design pop so much more because the spaces rhinestone placement is hard i'm gonna be honest i know i'm always talking about something that's hard on this channel <laughs> but it is it's hard nails can be very challenging you just have to learn the skill learn the technique and once you get it down it's, it's gonna be like butter so yeah i'm gonna keep practicing with my rhinestone placement because i really do want to get better and I was watching something with the lovely Mimi in it. She was talking about rhinestone placement. She said no gaps. I did not see that till after this video. And it made sense when she said no, don't leave any gaps in your nails for your rhinestone placement. So these are my caviar beads and that's where I'm gonna stick them. You can you can't really see them on the camera. Which is why I feel like I should have maybe used a bigger size. Well, you can see them. But, um, yeah, I think I should have used a bigger caviar bead. I feel like I'm just rambling. I'm sorry, guys. And so, that netting at the cuticles wasn't the best. So, I just put a cuff there, but you can't even see it on camera. I really, it wasn't bad enough that I had to do this. 
it was just mentally I, I was like I need to fix this some type of way and I felt like the cuff would fix it because you can't even see the cuff but I'm gonna take um this little brush that I got in my AliExpress haul and I'm just gonna go around each stone and I'm going on top of the gold charms because so they went won't turn even though this is not a real hand they're not going to be in water they can still turn though being on display so i'm going around all the gold and the caviar beads but i'm going around the circles making sure that they're kind of encased in gel and i'm using the model ones top coat i believe yep that's the model ones this brush is amazing I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but the brush makes it your favorite. I love the brush. They just get it right with their brush. I haven't tried many, but I'm going to start trying the top coats. And if you have a suggestion for a good one, leave it down below because I want to try different top coats. And I love the outcome. The only issue I had is <laughs> that gold. But thank you guys for joining me today and hearing me ramble. Um, the quality is going to get so much better. I do have lights in my, <laughs> you should see I have lights in the video I have up now. Sound should be better. It's getting there. But thank you guys. Please like, subscribe, leave comments, and have a great day.